Today's video is gonna be all about the spring and summer fashions you need now. Sis, I'm spilling the tea on what you should buy next. So keep on watching. My name is Chi-Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you love lookbooks, if you love hauls, if you love outfit ideas and styling tips and all that jazz, since you found your tribe, get comfortable. Let's get into this. So let's go ahead and start off with this top that I have on here. I picked her up from Nasty Gal. I'm wearing her here in a size 12. Yes, I said a size 12. If you're a returning member of the squad, and I'm joking, you know that I'm not a size 12, but this top really runs really big. It's a crop top. It has fun little ties on the side and it's made out of this accordion pleat that I'm seeing everywhere. I'm seeing a lot of high end pieces with this accordion detail. This pleated details. I think the first place I saw it was on um, Colt Gaia, and then I've also seen it at Andre Yama. So it's a luxury aesthetic that I feel like is finally coming down to the high street, and I'm here for it. I love the pleating detail, it's subtle and adds a little bit of interest. So if you're someone who doesn't like a print, this is a fun way to add some interest to your look. Like I said, I'm wearing it in a size 12, so it does run big, and I would say if you wear anything less than a 18. So if you're a small 18, 16, it's super ruby, it has a lot of space. And for me, it was the color and the pleating that sold me on it. It's like the perfect citrus tangerine flavor. Now on the bottom, this skirt was also purchased on the same trip from Nasty Gal. I've been seeing this tomato red color everywhere, but I feel like it doesn't do for me as much what the like this orange orange does for me right this is a little bit deeper but I do like the saturation and the color so I thought it would be perfect to kind of color block with this does have a matching top one thing I'm gonna say to you guys if you've never shopped at Nasty Gal is that their pieces run big I'm gonna say it again their pieces run big as of last check their pieces run big. I typically size down at least one size. So I have this skirt in a size 16. Now I would say if you are between an 18, 20, get a size 18. But if you are between a 16, 18, get a size 16. I am a true 18 and this skirt does fit me, but I wish it was slightly looser around the hips. Now here's where I have to make a choice, right? Cause I always preach size up and get it tailored. The difference between how I want it to fit and how it actually fits is not that much much and if I were to size up I know that the waist would be really big on me so I'm gonna choose to stick with the size 16 that I got but I wanted to mention that so if, if you are a small 18 you can get away with the 16 if not size up to the 18 just because it has absolutely no stretch to it and the length fits very much like a maxi it's like a hair away from being a maxi right and we know that middies are kind of taking a back seat to maxis this season so I like the length of this skirt. Now, when it comes to styling, I would love your input. So I was thinking of styling her with some gold platforms because we know platforms are also having a moment and I'll talk about these platforms a little bit later. These were also a recent pick, but I'm not sure. I'm like, do I want to do her with platforms or do I want to go with something a little bit or with a pump? So let me know in the comments below which way you prefer. Do you like how I styled it with a platform or do you prefer it? styled with a pump. I feel like the platform lends a little bit more of a youthful edge whereas the pump lends a little bit more of a sophisticated edge. But let me know in the comments what you think. So that is look one, top size 12, bottom size 16. All the details of course will be linked in the description down below. I have my sizing, my height, my actual measurements in the description for you so that you can reference that when shopping. So the next item I actually have on, they're going to be these shorts. It's actually part of a cohort set. I picked up both the shirt and the shorts in a size 16. Like I said, I always size down and nasty out because I find them to run on the big side. 
apparently I'm having a thing for this plisé pleated material and that's because it doesn't disappoint there's something about it that screams luxe and so I figured I'd jump on the bandwagon while it's still fresh so if you're interested in the set of course I will link it for you in the description box down below I love the way the shorts fit they're great I really like the silhouette on these shorts I like how it comes in at the waist and flares out however I feel like I maybe should have sized down in the top because if I'm going to do something really frilly and really voluminous on the bottom I prefer to do something a little bit fitted on top which is why I have it here paired with this bodysuit which is an honorable mention because I picked it up from the limited edition collection that Marche Robinson did with Amazon the drop now I do know that from time to time a few sizes will pop up on their site so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to link it for you if you're interested but it has this cool little cutout detail like so it's perfect weight for spring and I say you could totally rock it as we go into summer as well it has these cute little slits on the side that just add something to the look that makes it kind of special however the star of the short is the two-piece set you guys know how I feel about these these are like the summertime closet hack when you don't know what to wear when it's super hot just throw on a two-piece set and you're good to go and this is so lightweight and light that I know it would be perfect however together it's giving me pajamas and I think the reason why it's giving me pajamas is because of how voluminous the top is if I'm on vacation I don't mind giving that kind of relaxed lounge vibe but like if I'm on the city like if I'm in the city if I'm wearing this to brunch or something like that I want it to have a little bit more structure at least up top if the bottom is gonna be loose I like to have the top be a little bit more structured and vice versa right but let me know your thoughts should I size down in this top I'm thinking to size down to a size 12 so it fits more of like a fitted t-shirt let me know your thoughts on that yes no do you prefer it like like oversized the way I style it again because of how oversized it is I'd probably just style it now really casually with some slides to run errands but I feel like if I get like a more fitted top I could pair it with some platform sandals and the, honestly it was the print that sold me like it was the print okay the print was given was are you dying if you know where that's from let me know in the comments down below it was that whole exclamation point as soon as I saw it I was like yes Yes. I need this in my life. Add to cart. Now, it's the teal with the mint with a little drop of camel and then the hint of like this buttercup yellow. I'm obsessed with the print. I'm obsessed with the pleating detail. It's just the details for me with this piece. However, I don't know. I feel like it needs something to tweak it a little bit. So let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about this. Now, continuing on with the color green and shorts, I had to put in another honorable mention, which are these shorts from Banana Republic. I did a collaboration with them on TikTok and I thought I'd share it with you here because green is definitely one of the top colors for this season that limeade color from like my Walmart haul if you haven't seen that I'll link it for you down below and then Kelly green is also having a moment as well and I thought why not pair them together these shorts are giving with the Kelly green now what I like about these shorts is that they're not your average short they are a tailored short they are the short you pull out when you want to look and feel sophisticated if you're going golf Thing. you know if you were to wear a short to work in the summer you know or if you're even going to like a sophisticated brunch these are the shorts you pull out they're also the shorts you could pull out like on vacation or, you know if you're plan on luxuriating in a five-star resort I would totally pair these with like a little crop top something with voluminous sleeves you know my like a platform sandal or a lace-up sandal something really sexy or something really statement a clutch Sis! These shorts, they have so much potential, right? And I'm really here for the longer shorts, okay? You know, when I was younger, I stayed away from the longer shorts because I felt like it made me look a little bit more mature, but the, you know, the more mature. <laughs> I get the more I'm like I'm here for the longer shorts like they have a moment they have a place you know in your wardrobe not always you know booty out you know bum showing shorts not always that you know not always that anyway don't 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 ask me what I'm doing with my accents okay don't even ask me and honestly all these little booty shorts all they do is just ride up and go all the way up in the fanny and then you spend the whole time yanking them out 
yanking them out as you walk. Speaking of which, if you have not seen my shorts video on how to find the perfect pair, you need to see it. And if it's not live, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so that as soon as it goes live, you're notified because you don't want to miss it. I'm sharing some really good tea on how to find the perfect pair of shorts because I know it can be so hard for us curvy gals, right? Anyway, so yeah, the little, little short shorts that are going up your hoo-ha, you know, they're just not as appealing to me anymore, okay? I don't want to spend my whole day pulling out my shorts as I'm walking every single time. It's such an awkward thing too to be like trying to yank your shorts out as you're walking. Anyways, I digress. Let me not die on this hill, okay? All right, so the next item is going to be this pink dress, okay? Ooh, I'm here for bubblegum pink. This dress is giving me bubblegum pink. I'm here for bubblegum pink, I'm here for fuchsia, but this season, bubblegum pink is definitely having a moment. I picked up the cutest skim set, totally I, me digressing, in bubblegum pink, and it's so gorgeous. It looks so good. But back to the dress, yes, bubblegum pink is definitely one of those colors for this season. And again, if you're interested, bubblegum colors is definitely one of the colors of this season. If you wanna know what else is in for the season, make sure to check check out my spring trends video where I share how I'm incorporating the top trends into my wardrobe. I share some outfits, etc., etc. So you can kind of get a gist of how to make it work. Cause I just feel like the older we get, the more scared we get about, you know, we kind of get so set in our ways and we get scared about trying new things. And I don't even know if it's an age thing. I think it's a combination. You just get worried at when you're plus size, not only do you have limited options, but you just feel like you're just scared to try things because you're afraid that they won't look good on you. So check out that video. I share some of the top trends. I share how I'm incorporating it. I share why it's important to, I don't want to say keep up with trends, but know what's out there in that video. So I will link it for you down below. So yes, this bubblegum pink dress, I got it in a size 16. Everything I got from Nasty Girl, I got in a size 16. And trust me when I say it, it took me about three orders till I finally convinced myself that my size and Nasty Girl is a size 16 because I'm normally an 18. And for reference, I'm gonna put my measurements are always in the description box of the video, my height, my measurement, all that good stuff for you to reference for yourself. And so you can use that if it helps. So what again attracted me to this dress was the bubblegum pink color. And I also like the fact that you could cinch it around your waist. So how to really define the waist. I actually have a very similar dress from ASOS, but it's more of a midi dress. If you have a wedding coming up or maybe a graduation, coming up I think this dress would be a great option and I honestly think the beginning of season if you're a curvy gal if you're a plus size girl is the best time for you to sort of plan out the functions that are coming up I don't think you should always be going out to buy new things for occasions I think you should actually invest in separates that you can mix and match however if you have any notable functions coming up that you want to buy something new for this is a time to buy it where there's a high inventory because the places that do good things and plus they're far and few and the stock is always limited and so by the time it's the middle of the summer and you have that you know college best friends wedding that you're going to or your sister's wedding or you know your besties anniversary something whatever it is the occasion is you're gonna have a lot less options so I recommend that you start shopping now and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to do a post on like to know it with my favorite like occasion wear dress for weddings, anniversaries, graduations, all that good stuff. So you have a reference point. Speaking of like to know it, if you're not following me there, why are you not, sis? That's literally where I share 99.9% .9 of the things that I buy, the things that I feature. And I'm only pointing this out because y'all got mad at me in the Walmart video because that dress sold out. And as soon as I bought that dress, I shared it on like to know it. I was like, things I bought this week, check it out, you know. But if you're not following me, you wouldn't have known. And then you would have missed out on that dress. Yes, that dress was it. So the next item is going to be this crisscross vest. I got it in a size 18. It's kind of like a springy piece that you could wear into the summer. I like to wear it now layered with shirts underneath. If this vest looks familiar, it's because I feel like it's a play on that vest that I saw everywhere last year. Eloquy kindly made and decided to make their version in plus. And what I like about this version is that the front is solid. Okay, so that means if you're like me and you're not cool, you know, with showing all the goodies like that, you get a solid front and then the crisscross detailing in the back and you can tie it 
to the front. So having the ties hang down, cause I know someone already asked me about the vest cause I posted it in the community tab. And you can also tie it to the back as well. So it's just one smooth piece. And then going into the summer, if you want to wear it on itself, by itself, you can. I personally, I'm leaning more towards layering it, but let's say I was going on vacation, you know, then I'm totally down with that. You know, on vacation, the rolls can come out. Okay, the rolls, I can free the rolls. I can, I can, free, I can free the rolls. I don't mind if a little bit of roll, you know, shows up. I don't mind if a little bit of, you know, cellulite stretch marks is on show because we're on vacation. I mean, if you can't let loose on vacation, when can you you know but i personally like the way it looks layered on and that's actually how it was at, styled on the site as well and i would say that this piece definitely fits true to size and it's made out of a very lightweight knit which is why i say you can totally wear it for a night out you know early summer so I almost forgot that I also picked up some bathing suits as well from this nasty out order. However, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on bathing suits. If that video is already live, I will link it for you down below. If it's not, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because not only will I be hauling some bathing suits, I'll also be sharing some tips and tricks on how to get the best fit, most flattering fit for your shape. But. While we're here, I mean, look at this print. Isn't it gorgeous? I also got like a very similar cover up as well, crochet cover up as well to go with it. And the best part, this is actually has underwire. We will see. Okay, we will see what this does for the girls. <laughs> we will see. So the next find is gonna be this lavender top that I have on here. Sis, sis, if you are like me and you love a good high-waisted pant, you need these tops, okay? they It's so cute because it does all of the work for you. You know how you always see all those tutorials on how to like tie your and crop your oversized shirts, etc., etc. It does all of the work for you. It has this crisscrossing detail that is super flattering, okay? Because it really helps to elongate the neck. But the good thing about it although it's like a low V it hides your bra so you don't even have to worry about all those really intricate steps to pinning this to conceal your bra because of how it's designed and then it goes around the back and the good thing about it is it actually has smocking in the back so you know if you have a wider back it has some of that detail built in there okay and then of course you guys know that I can never have enough puff sleeve things okay I can never have enough of them I just I love a good statement sleeve and this does it for you okay it has this, these fun little ties that just hang off to add to the drama of the sleeves okay and then it's made out of this like really lightweight almost linen like fabric which means I know that I will be comfortable in this all through spring early summer even like for night outs during the summer it's really light airy and breezy I decided to pair it with these purple pants that y'all know I've been struggling to figure figure out how to style and I think they pair really well together. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. These pants are from Nasty Gal. This top is actually from a new to me brand, Shopo. So I've been heard about Shopo, but I didn't know that they carried larger sizes. Now they do and they don't. I feel like they have like some select pieces and larger sizes, but typically the average size that I saw or the average highest size I saw there was a 16 with a few 18 sprinkled in and like some like larger larger sizes like a few of those sprinkled in as well but they do have some cute pieces oh my god and the only reason why I even went to the site was because they had this gorgeous orange two-piece set okay that this girl that I saw on Pinterest styled to the T I think her name is like Priscilla or something like that she styled it so good I wanted it and I kept on checking and never came back in stock so I decided to like just look in the site and see all the stuff that they had on there. It's giving me like Zara prices, but the pieces at least based on what I've seen, these three pieces that I picked up, you'll see the next two pieces in a second. It, there, the quality is there. So I just wanted to mention that. Now, the next item I picked up from them, I'm just gonna cover the next two items because they're basically the same thing, is this dress. Okay, so I cannot remember the name of the brand. It was like a designer brand that came up with this style of dress that came in and flared out like maybe two and a half, 
maybe three years ago. And of course, the first year they came out with the dress, it was a total hit. And of course, they didn't come in plus. And then the following year, H&M dropped the dress that was very similar, okay? And it sold out before I could get my hands on it. I was so sad. You know when you have something in your cart, you're like, oh, think about it. I shouldn't have thought about it. I should have bought it as soon as. But anyways, when I saw that they had a similar shape of dress, I love these dresses for spring and summer. Like these are the best dresses. I'm gonna say it again. If you don't buy no other dress this spring and summer, these dresses, this silhouette, this shape is literally the most flattering. Why? It's the same reason why that Walmart dress with the floral print that sold out. Same reason why. If you haven't seen my Walmart haul, I'll link it for you down below. It's because it comes in at the waist and flares out, okay? This is so flattering on most body types. If you have a rectangle shape, it's going to give you some shape okay it's gonna create a faux hourglass for you if you have an inverted triangle shape it's gonna fill out and add some volume to your hips if you have an hourglass shape it's going to highlight your waist like it just looks great on most body types if you're a pear shape the looseness of the fabric is gonna kind of help disguise your waist to hip ratio especially because you have a little bit of volume up top just chef's kiss okay and i picked it up in two colors all right i picked it up in pink because you know that's one of my colors and i picked it up in white because like a white dress, a little white dress during the summer, you just can't have enough of it. Like day parties, brunch, events, you know, Easter, what else is coming up? Fourth of July, Memorial Day weekend. Dresses like this just come in clutch. Pair her with a platform sandal and you have a dressy look. Pair her with some slides or some flats. You have a dress down look, chef's kiss. She's a must pack for your next warm weather vacation as well. Speaking of vacation, the next item I picked up, remember how I said I was on a hunt for an orange two-piece set? Like y'all didn't see me wearing an orange two-piece five seconds ago? Well, I made that two-piece. Well, mm, anyways, obviously I have a thing now for orange two-piece sets. So when I saw this two-piece set on Eloquie's website, I was like, mm, add to cart, okay? It's the ruching for me. I can wear the crop top with other things in my wardrobe. And I could also wear it together. It's giving me traffic, you know, cones, colors, but I like it. It works, okay? Maybe not quite a traffic cone, a little bit lighter. That like orange, orange that's really popping for spring. You know, if you haven't seen my spring trends video, I talked about the colors that are popping for spring and this orange is definitely popping for spring. And to me, it's a very flattering silhouette with the ruching going down the middle of the top. It creates that like almost a triangle, not a triangle, a diamond around your waist which is very slimming okay with the ruching on the top ruching on the bottom of the skirt very very slimming the slit the ruching on the sides will help to kind of like disguise any lumps any bumps you know somewhat okay so that's what I like about her and I got them both in a size 18 because that's the size I typically get at Eloquy. so let me know your thoughts on her is she a keep is she a return should I size down I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are on this two-piece set. Now, if you're enjoying this video, okay, if I put you on some tea, if I put you on and some pieces that you need to add to your spring summer wardrobe, this is a great time to hit that like button and also share this video. Okay, sharing is caring. I didn't have to come on here and share all these wonderful pieces with you. I chose to because I want us all to be looking good. Okay, so after you add your pieces and check out, <laughs> you can go ahead and share this video with your friends, okay? All your people. Be like, don't come to the party looking just like me. No, I'm joking. But share the video it really does help our community and when you share this video when you like when you drop a comment when you engage with this video YouTube knows okay she's sharing some tea in this video we need to give this video some love so please pay it forward so the next item that I want to share with you guys is going to be this mesh is what they're naming it mesh cardigan okay I am obsessed with pieces like this they also have it in like a polo style shirt which I already have in my car. Yes, I do. And I love pieces like this because they're so versatile, right? During the summer times, it gets cooler in the evenings, but during the springtime, it's still kind of like mid-weather. I love pieces like this because you can also pack them on vacation. I don't 
know, just something about the holes, the crochet, just gives off effortless resort vibes in the best way. And like I said, when I'm going to brunch, it's like I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation, you know, the whole entire spring and summer is a running brunch vacation for me, and I'm joking. But I just love the vibes that it gives off. You can also rock it as cover up. That's another reason why I like it a lot, you know, and um, she's selling out quick 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 so if you have been on the hunt for a piece like this because i've been on the hunt for a piece like this for a minute i remember last summer j crew made something similar oh, no i think h&m actually made something similar and it sold out like that so <laughs> i wanted to put y'all on and share it with you guys right now while it's still available it's a must-have like one of those must-have that you have to pack when you're going on a warm weather vacation but it also really works right now so if i forget to link anything that i featured in this video or if you just want details on you know my hair my makeup literally anything that you see here i always link 99.9 percent .9 of everything that i feature via the like to know it app and the link is in the description box down below under shop my look or shop my outfits i never remember what i named it and while you're there make sure to download the app and follow me and if you're looking Looking for other fun creators okay to follow who share their outfits and their fashions then make sure to check out the blog post I have on my blog that features 25 other creators of color to follow on the app if you enjoyed this video check out this video and I'm sure you will love this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed